happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a better Tuesday than I am. Uh, so, well, I don't know. This, this is a Monday. I hope I'm having a good Tuesday tomorrow from when I'm filming this. But Monday, today for me, your Tuesday, uh, I'm a little frustrated already. Um, I had, I went, I'm, I'm already running late on my regular video schedule because I went to the schools this morning to drop off all your stuff. So good news is your stuff is now at the schools. So when the, when you guys go down to pick up everything that was left at your classrooms or whatever, whenever the, uh, the school says to do that, your stuff, if I emailed you earlier in fourth quarter with the list of what I had of yours, that stuff is there. Uh, if I didn't hear anything back from you and I have a bunch of stuff without names on it and stuff, uh, that all isn't with your stuff and got mixed into all of the orchestra stuff for next year. So if we were already in communication about how to get your stuff back to you earlier this year and that canceled before, all that stuff is now at the schools. So you can pick that up on whatever day the schools tell you to go down there and pick that up. I hope that makes sense. Uh, that's only the real announcement. Now let me kind of show you and explain why there's not going to be a video today. Sorry. Uh, I, I came out here and started recording. And here's, here's the piano. I've already covered it up for today because it wasn't turning on. I was like, okay, whatever, let's make sure it's plugged in. And you do that thing where you follow the cord, right? So we followed the cord to over here and, and it, it, it wasn't plugged in. So I plugged it in, I, I went and I turned it back on and it still didn't work. And, uh, and so I followed this one and this, this cord ended up not being plugged in. That connects, that turns this thing on to turn my piano on. And so I connected this together and it still didn't work. It was at this point that I realized my freezer over there isn't humming the way it's supposed to be humming. And it's not working. And I was like, man, what time is it? I don't know, let's look at my clock. And there's my clock down there. It's not turned on because I got no power. And that's when I noticed my freezer is leaking. So I've got a leaking freezer with no power. So I can't record videos until I get the power fixed, which will also turn my freezer on. I'm already running late on my video schedule. Grades are due today, and and you know the grade program that we use here. That, that doesn't work, of course. So uh, I got a lot of stuff I gotta figure out, and I don't think I'm gonna have time to do it all, and there's not gonna be a video. So I was gonna do this really funny thing where I have set my phone up in front of my TV and I just showed Fantasia because I thought that'd be funny. That's what I would be doing right now if this was a real class is you'd be sitting there watching Fantasia while I try to figure out how to get your grades turned in. Uh, I was just about to get it set up and I remembered that there's no way YouTube's going to allow me to post that because of copyright, like it won't even, it won't even post. It'll red flag it right away and it'll be like, hey, you're clearly just showing Fantasia. Um, so I can't even show you Fantasia. I can suggest if you've got Disney Plus that you can go over and, and watch Fantasia. I used to suggest that you could go onto YouTube and look up Fantasia stuff and just watch it for free anyway. But ever since Disney Plus came around charging you money to watch Fantasia, then they like they dropped the, the hammer on, on YouTube and took all their stuff off YouTube. So, of course. I don't know. Um, 
I've already killed five minutes of this 25, what's not really a video. So maybe I'll film more when I figure out what's wrong with my garage. And maybe this will just be a little video for today. I don't know. Um, go practice your uh, G scale. And while well, I figure this out. All right, check out, check out this thing. This is, uh, if you're a Doctor Who fan, it's kind of like a sonic screwdriver. Except, except it's not. It, uh, it checks outlets to make sure that they're good. I'm, I'm, I'm about to do some electrical work here to see if I can get my piano working. And I don't want to kill myself. So I gotta check to make sure the power's off. This cord hanging from there, I know has power going to it. I plugged my jigsaw into it and it turned on. If I take this thing and stick it in there, the light turns red and it beeps. So I know it's a live wire. If I were to stick a fork or a screwdriver or something in there, it would electrocute me and that would not be good. The one just below it here, that outlet on the wall, that's the one that I suspect isn't working. If I stick this in there, nothing's gonna happen because it's not working. Nothing in any of them, nothing's going on. And the way this works is it only has to get close. So if there's anything at all in there, it won't work. Um, and this is what my piano is always plugged into. As you can see, you can see nothing, nothing works there either. Which is what all of that's plugged into. Pretty much all I've got right now is that light up there. So we're going to move some stuff around and check things out. Here I am outside now. Uh, this is the power box to the house. I want to see what else I can find in here, and uh, and I don't know what I'm looking at here. But if I pull this thing down, it shuts off the power to the entire house. Let's do it. Let me go back into the garage. Come over here to this thing. Now, not only is this out, that one should be out too, because I've cut power to everything. And, and I wanted to cut power to everything. See, nothing's, nothing's happening now. I wanted to cut power to everything, because I'm going to take that outlet off the wall and see if, uh, if there's any wires in there that have come undone and that's why it's not working. Hopefully that's all it is because I can stick the wires back in there, tighten them down, and they're okay. But we'll see what happens. This is what the inside of an outlet looks like. We've got all the wires coming from back out here. We've got the, the whites going in, then that goes through the thing, it's plugged in, then it comes out through the blacks. And there's this copper wire down here called the ground and it, it sticks in there. That wire actually ends up being shot down deep, deep into the ground, which is why they call it ground, and uh, it helps from getting things electrocuted or something. I don't know. Uh, what I was looking for when I pulled this off is sometimes when these get old, these cables overheat and will start melting the plastic, and it becomes a fire hazard, and they're just old and need to be replaced. I'm looking at it and I don't see any damage on either side. All of the metal connections look like they're touching. So the connections all look good. I wonder if there's something actually inside the unit that needs to be replaced. Inside where everything's coming out, it all looks, it all looks solid too. It's all connected the right way. So I have no idea why that one isn't working. I'm back out here at the power box. I'm gonna turn everything back on. Let's 
So now everything should be back turned on again. We see the light is turned on, so I know we got power again. Since this thing, my little sonic screwdriver here, only has to get close, I can check the wires behind it. Now that I have that pulled out, I'm gonna check to see if the wires behind it are good. If the wires behind it are good, then likely there's something wrong with the actual outlet thing. So let's see if, if there's anything coming from, from these wires. And I don't think so. I think something's wrong further back. I don't know. I don't think if I, if I switch out that, I don't think it's going to do anything. Make sure. Yeah, see, that still works. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can keep working on it. Hey, go practice your C scale. Make sure you're starting on that third finger, fourth, if you're a cello, and you get the low twos in there. Cool. G scale was regular position. C scale is at the low two. Give that a shot. See ya. Figured out a problem. This, this plug here is on the same circuit as one of them that's in my bathroom. And you know how in the bathroom, there's a little button on your outlets? That's because it's like there's a sink nearby, right? And you don't want water getting all of your outlet because that's a horrible thing to happen. So something tripped this outlet, probably that it was bad. One of my tools that I was using tripped it and it tripped the one in the bathroom too. I noticed this when the bathroom wasn't working. <laughs> and, and so I, I hit that reset button and now this plug is only halfway working. This side has power running to it. This side doesn't. So this, if I stick it, if I, let's see, where am I? If I stick it in there, that side sets it off and that side doesn't. I gotta replace that outlet. That's not too hard to do, I can do that. Update. I have figured out which circuit this thing is on. So I've turned off that circuit. I've got no power to any of these. Whoa, maybe I do. Nah, nah. Who knows why you're on? It's, it's still not this. That's clearly on. That one, yeah, right? So it's no power here. Cool. I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to put this one on. This one here is 15 amps. This one's 20 amps. I think the issue happens when the fridge plus the tools, plus the fan, when all of that stuff is running on one, it's too much for that thing to handle and it trips the circuit. This one's bigger. This is the one that like, you can plug a microwave into because microwaves require 20 amps. So that's why there's that little thing there. And yeah, I think that's gonna fix my problem. So I'm just gonna, now that this is turned off, I'm gonna unscrew all of those and screw this one back in there instead, and it should be good. Uh, yeah, you did the G scale, you did the C scale, try playing your B flat scale. That's, uh, that's the one that low G string, second finger's normally B, so it's gonna start on the low two cellos starting on second finger. There's the low ones and the extended first finger if you're a cello. Uh, B flat scale, give it a shot.
I watched a YouTube video. I mean, I already pretty much know how to do this. I wanted to watch a video of a, a professional electrician doing this to make sure I didn't do anything wrong that would would really go wrong. And uh, as I was watching that video, I was reading the comments, and it turns out the guy's, like, since posting that, he's, he died. And uh, that's kind of sad. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie, my mind went there, and I thought, well, how did he die? Uh, so I looked up his obituary, and uh, he didn't electrocute himself. So he must have been pretty good. I'm going with it. He's good. He's uh, I'm gonna good good video, dead guy. I'm sorry you died. Uh, prayers to your family and that kind of thing. Thanks for making making that video. So I know what I'm doing. I'm glad you didn't electrocute yourself. That's sign of a good electrician there it is all ready to go back into place hopefully that fixes our solution it fixes the solution hopefully that is the solution to to our problem but yeah we'll see i'm gonna put the cover back on then i'm gonna turn power back on then we'll we'll see how it goes check it out i got power back Here's the thing though, my garage roof or ceiling is a mess. I've got extension cords running everywhere. The problem was from this outlet, I had this cord going up across the ceiling, down over that way and down there. And so that outlet powers basically all of these tools that's plugged into this thing. Plus, that's where I plug my piano into. So when I got all of those things going, plus the freezer was connected to that too. That was way too much stuff going into one outlet. And like, that's no good. So... I fixed the problem. No, I fixed the issue. The issue was I didn't have power. I didn't fix the problem yet. The problem is that all of that stuff is going into one outlet and I need to get up here and move things around and do this a much more safer way. I mean, like I could have burned my house down with all of this stuff plugged in the wrong way. It's an electrical disaster in here, but I'm gonna fix it, and uh, this makes me wonder. I'm doing this for school. If I would have electrocuted myself doing that electric stuff there, I wonder if the school would have been responsible for my death. I don't know, I don't know. Either way, HR probably doesn't like this video. Sorry, HR. All right, how's this for an update? We got our power back. Um, unfortunately, it's now like almost one o'clock. I've missed a Zoom lesson with one of you guys. I'm two hours late on getting my grades in. Uh, and yeah, bummer. Uh, you guys, practiced the C scale, the G scale, B flat scale, and now let's do the F scale. This is the one that starts low second fingers, and there's a bunch of the, the low first and extended first and that stuff too. Here's F for one, two, and here we go. Go, 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 get that. Grades. Gotta check that, see if it's working any better now than it did before. Uh, if this video hasn't wasted 25 minutes of your morning yet, then uh, go ahead and 
I don't know, watch a two set violin video or something. They they roasted Ben Shapiro the other day. That was pretty funny. Ooh, there's one all about recorder. They roasted the recorder once and then this lady that is like a professional recorder player, she roasted them back and that was funny, so uh maybe check that one out. I don't think I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna go check on grades. It probably won't work. Wish me luck. So I think your grades are in. Um, it's amazing how frustrating it is to use that software we use. I can only imagine what it's like being a parent having to use this grade software that we use. I don't know. Do you guys complain about it at home as much as we complain about it here at school? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, hopefully your grades are in. Y'all did fine. Um, it is very close to being time where I have to take over baby duties. And this video, this, this video here is all, all you really get today. I'm sorry. Uh, but, bummer. I have a stack of wood here that this, I've decided, will become the prize for Oregon Trail. There's, I think, three of you that are still kind of in the running for it. Um, I haven't gotten any emails about the Chrome Music Lab stuff that went out today. Um... There are a few of you that are signed up for some Zoom lessons. So uh, that's one way to get some good things going into this last week of Oregon Trail. Um, doing that kind of thing is not going to be enough, though. Uh, you got like two more days to, uh, to do like the video editing project or any of those Chrome Music Labs. Those are going to be the big chunks that really boost your score at this point. Um, because just the regular practice log thing, that is just a, a draw of the, the cards. And you might get 150 pounds as the biggest one, but I don't think those little weekly cards are going to be enough to catch our leaders. Um, our leaders, though, it's, it's a toss-up between a few of you. Um, I, I took down the uh, Oregon Trail form sheet thing uh, because I just didn't have it updated yet but if you were on that leaderboard kind of the last video you've still got a real shot at winning this thing if you get a like a video turned in and get a bunch of food and points and money that way um, and then you could win this big stack of wood this big stack of wood is uh, it's gonna I'll show you in a video Actually, in Friday's video is going to be me making this thing. And at the end of that video will be the big final reveal of who wins it. Um, if a fifth grader wins it, then I will have this prize for you next year. If a sixth grader wins it, um, then... Uh, then we'll have it, I'll figure out what middle school you're going to. I think, I think all the people that are in the running are staying here and going to one of the two middle schools in Higley next year. So I will, I will track you down and find you to, to get you your winning piece. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's about it for today. We did a few scales if you actually did that. I don't expect anybody actually put some scales. That was just Felt like I had to say something musical in a lesson, so you did some scales today. Congratulations! Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday's video. Uh, we're going to do a fifth grade thing. Um, I don't know which one yet. One of you was doing, uh, I saw on your your practice logs, a lot of uh, like Oak Hollow out of book one. I can't recall the number, um, but look up Oak Hollow. Practice that one if you want. We'll, uh, I'll do that one tomorrow. Why not? Um, and then sixth grade, 
we are going to end with pomp and circumstance on Thursday because what more fitting way to have a last lesson than to, to play pomp and circumstance for you. Uh, and then fifth grade is going to be our reveal of the winner. So stick around for all that this week. Uh, turn in any of those last minute things. You've got to like the end of the day. Let's say the end of the day Wednesday. Uh, if you turn it in Thursday morning, I might be able to get to it, but I'm not. I'm not setting a deadline Thursday because I don't know when this will be ready to uh, truly finish off. Um, so yeah, get your stuff in by Wednesday night for sure if you want to be counted. Uh, anything after that may or may not be included in the final score. Cool. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, some Oak Hollow. Have a good day, guys.